Welcome friends to what appears to be a very windy day here on Valheim Survival. So I'm at my base here, my compound now, as you can see. Uh, last episode we put in all the walls and stuff and did a, a few odds and ends, which is pretty exciting. And uh, since, I've put in several hours of gameplay here. I did a lot of grinding, I did the things we promised we'd do, uh, including the moat around the base. Uh, I went and uh, got us a ton of supplies. We have a whole bunch of tin going on here. We have some copper, which is good. Uh, I used the cart here to go uh, back and forth. If we take a look here, uh, where our two copper mines are, I built a nice little area in here, and there's a road going over there now, too. So that's pretty exciting. We'll take a little bit of a, a tour of that soon. Uh, I've got myself together here a uh, fair amount of stone. Uh, we've got some uh, wood stuffs going on here. Look at all that core wood I got. Tons of that pine tree. And uh, a bunch of the normal wood, too. So I do think I have a little bit more grinding to do before we can do another uh, major build here. We're going to... Uh, do a round thing or something here in the middle. I think that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, but I want to take you guys on a journey here. I uh, made myself, oops, let's get in the right position here. Uh, I've made myself a nice little roadway and uh, I want to show you the uh, the finished moat around the build. Now, I don't think the moat will actually really do anything too much other than maybe stop the animals and start the animals, the enemies from kind of uh, trying to jump in here now. I know they're gonna focus on my entrance way and that's kind of what I want We're gonna build a couple towers and stuff here and uh, some more defenses out here at some point But I do think this will definitely do for now and look at this our uh, our buried bones They're just kind of floating in the air all by themselves doing their own thing over there <laughs> It's kind of funny the I guess the physics don't apply to the uh, uh, buried remains at all But look at that guys look at the moat all the way clear down right to the waterfront uh, of course, we did this moat in the one episode, and if you took a, took a leak, take a leak. <laughs> if you take a look, I've also made the roadway um, all the way around the outside here. I love this cart too, by the way, guys. This thing is fantastic. It allows me to really efficiently uh, use my time. But look at that. The moat is done all the way around, connects to the water, so it's basically now its own uh, floating island. And you know what's really cool? If I ever get so motivated to do so in the future. I could actually expand this out and really make it its own island. I think that would be uh, kind of cool too. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go on a little bit of a tour here, guys. As you can see, I made the roadway and I tried to make it as realistic looking as possible, right? So it's a little skinnier in spots, a little wider in spots. Uh, I wanted to go uh, as flat as possible, but I didn't go uh, super flat. Uh, but let's go for a little bit of a run here, guys. I'll fast forward this. And here we are. So that wasn't too bad of a run, but as you can see, I've uh, laid down a roadway here. That was kind of fun too, I'm not going to lie. Um, I really do like having the road system in. Honestly, I really find it does cut down on my time. Uh, especially repairs with the cart too, not having to go over like really weird areas. So there is a, a few dips in the roadway and stuff here and there. I mean, I got to kind of fix it up, but it uh, it really does serve its purpose. So this is the area here. Uh, where I've been drawing uh, all of our copper and stuff out of. If we take a look up over this way here, let's get armed up. We're going to uh, have a, a few friends kicking about. There we go. Oh, wow, I didn't actually realize that those guys get knocked back if you uh, if you parry their um, whatever they throw at you, if, that, if that's like a piece of mud or something. I have no idea what they're throwing at you. But that's cool. I, di I didn't know they uh, they get parried like that, knocked back. That's, that's really neat. I'm going to... Uh, go for that more often now. Look at me already starting to clean up. So I've cleared myself here a little bit of a path uh, through the bush into this area here uh, where I've cut down uh, all of those pine. There's a ton of pine. There's another copper mine right there too. So I really wanted to get this area nice and cleared out so I could see what's coming. Uh, I did take out a second troll, guys. There was another troll. It was the one that threw uh, stones instead of the, uh, the one that tried to smash you. Uh, so I took him out early on. I ended up uh, ended up finding him. So uh, I don't know what the respawn on those guys are like or even if they do uh, respawn, but uh, I guess we'll find out because I'll be farming like crazy in this area. Uh, but yeah, I still do have uh, a lot of pine to take out of here. So we're going to pretty much, I think, uh, deforest this whole area. So I made myself a nice little mine area over here. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Huge, huge fan 
of uh, making a tiny little outpost and stuff. Like, uh, let's take a look at this uh, little base I have over here. Uh, so over here I have my uh, myself a fire so I can become rested and stuff uh, while repairing. Uh, I also uh, made myself a forge over here too so that I can go ahead and uh, repair all my uh, bronze stuff instead of having to run all the way home to repair it. And of course we have our regular workbench. And uh, if I wanted to duck out in here, I think I could actually put a bed down here if I really wanted to and sleep through the night and uh, keep grinding. But uh, I just I just kept grinding through the night to be honest. Uh, yeah, so yeah, tons and tons of copper up over here that we got to dig out. These things are huge. Uh, a fellow on my Discord goes by the name of Blood76. I had to look it up. My memory for that stuff is horrible. Uh, he's been digging up the uh, the nodes and actually uh, cleaning them up. He dug up a whole copper node and got 101 raw copper out of it. So like I said, we're going to be spending a while here. Uh, for the amount of time it took me to slap this all together and uh, build a road system, honestly, it'll uh, it'll save me that. And we have a road system, guys. I mean, what's, what's kind of cooler, right? Maybe hopefully they'll bring some sort of mountain eventually so the road system will become super worth it. Uh, but the Elder is up here, and there's probably other stuff up here we can make a road to as well. Maybe make a road around here. Uh, maybe make a castle up here. I mean, there's so much we can do, right? I mean... Uh, only time will tell. So I'm going to leave the uh, the storage cart here and uh, I'm going to run my butt back home. We are going to make ourselves a boat here today. I kind of want to go and uh, do a little bit of exploring. I spent so much time doing some building and grinding here. I think I, uh, I, think I earned it. And, uh, and check out the, uh, the ship. It's much better than the raft. And uh, I have also looked up a few tutorials on uh, how to properly use the ships. Or the ships. Uh, so the, uh, the first step going forward is apparently rowing. I always thought it was a wind catching it. So nope, uh, you just row your, out, so, uh, row your butt out slowly backwards and forwards that way. And then uh, you let the sail down more and the wind uh, takes it and does its job. All right, let's get home guys. And home we are. So let's see what it actually takes to make one of these here. It's a carb. Uh, we need 30 fine wood, 10 deer hide, 20 resin, 80 bronze nails. Okay, so we're gonna have to make ourselves some bronze nails. Not a big deal. We have everything else Oh, yeah, here we are guys. I've got it all together here except for the uh, the deer hide Let's uh, run and grab that now uh, my storage is horrible. I know it. Uh, it needs to change here. I think that's going to be uh, one of my uh, very future uh, projects here is kind of getting this all organized. Uh, in fact, you know what? I might even do that offline because uh, that's a little boring. So what I, what I think I'm going to do, uh, because this is an A-frame, I can't really stack them up. They look a little odd. Uh, there's really no room in here. I just want this uh, at some point to be my room. So we may actually... Uh, just build ourselves a nice little building off to the side over here with all of our uh, workbenches and stuff And I think right here would be uh, really nice. It doesn't have to be anything I think too crazy at this point. We'll try to make it uh, look nice, but uh, I do want to move on to better and uh, bigger and better projects at some point here, especially with uh, with stone. I really want to get to stone, and in order to get there, uh, we're gonna have uh, a lot more gameplay. So uh, that's the thing. All right, look at the size of this thing. Holy crap! Let's drop that uh, right into the water here. Uh, we don't have our workbench, so I gotta uh, back up a little bit. Oh, my workbench got taken out over there. So. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to make those guys not spawn uh, up in my stuff here. So we're going to go on a journey here. I don't have much food. I don't have much of anything else. Um, what, we, what we're going to have to do when we get over to a new island or something here is uh, immediately go hunting. Like set up a little camp and go hunting. I would love to also possibly find a trader. Apparently there's a merchant in this game. So uh, that would be kind of cool. You can see him from a little while away, but... Yeah. Okay, here we go. We got our breastplate going on. We got our leggings. And we got our uh, leather helmet. So we're actually going to go ahead and uh, wear all those things by right-clicking on them. There we go. Beautiful. Equipping, equipping, equipping. Nice. Look at that. So we finally actually have some armor on. Because I don't know where we're going, what we're going to see. Uh, what is going to happen? Uh, there's sea serpents in the game too. I'd really hate to be uh, taken out by one, but is it, is it getting too late here? Is it almost nighttime? Oh, guys, I think it actually might be getting uh, close to night here. Maybe the best thing is to wait until the morning here and head out fresh 
uh, first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna go for a little bit of a run then. And uh, see, like I don't even have mushrooms or anything. I don't. Ugh. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a hunt here, I think, and maybe try to get uh, some more food together before we head out. Okay, and here we are, guys, in the morning. So I was able to go and get a handful of mushrooms, which is good. Uh, we got some berries going on, and I was able to get uh, some grilled neck. Uh, it wasn't really dropping very often. I was kind of actually uh, a little bit disappointed in that. But let's go ahead and uh, aboard our ship here. There we go. You just uh, use the ladder. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, so you can hold fast or you can uh, use the uh, rudder here. So let's go ahead. Oh, this is the back of the ship. Okay, so uh, you press W once, and there you go. You can see the little sore, uh, the little um, oaring animation. Oh, there we go. The little oaring animation. That means I can actually just uh, oar myself out of here. So it's just like an automatic speed, right? But it's uh, a very, very slow speed. Okay, let's uh, get this thing turned around. I'm actually trying to go into my house here. That is incorrect. Where am I going? Oh boy, I might hit the place. No, I think we'll make it actually. I think we'll get out of here just fine. So at some point, um, I do need to go. And uh, the wind is right at the front of us, damn it. Uh, I do need to go and actually make myself a nice, safe way to get out of here. Uh, so let's uh, let's paddle a little bit here. Uh, I think I might pick up... Wow, actually, even paddling is, is like faster than uh, your raft at full speed. <laughs> this thing is so much faster. Okay, so I think we're going to head out of here uh, and maybe go out along here and then maybe up this way a little bit, see what's up there. Uh, I want to stay close to the shore so I can see stuff, maybe mark stuff as I, I find it. And uh, I really don't want to run into one of those uh, sea serpents. Those things look deadly. Oh yeah, it's a lot easier to navigate out of here uh, with those rocks with this thing than it was a raft. Okay, that's pretty damn sick. So we got a good speed going on here already. Um, with our just our rowing, so let's go ahead and uh, drop sail and uh, head uh, head towards our goal here. Uh oh, this is not looking uh, very good at all. We got some rain going on. Is clouds coming in, or are clouds coming in? No, I uh, actually I, th I think we're good. We're good to go. Oh look, there's my uh, there's my old raft out there. I think that's actually my uh, my first raft I ever made. I decided to uh, run back home that day because it was storming out. Uh, but oh my god, is this thing ever much faster than the stupid raft? Oh, that thing sucks. So basically, early game, if you can avoid having a raft, I would do so. I'd go straight to this thing if you can. Like if you can find everything you need on your main island and go get do this, yeah, one hundred percent, go for it. Okay, so uh, we're kind of on the side of that island and the wind was going directly at us. So you know what? I'm going to let the wind take my sails here and uh, see where, where it leads us. Ooh, this is getting intense. Oh, this is awesome. I hope a storm doesn't come. My first time going out to sea and uh, get a storm. That would be uh, just my luck. Oh, it's getting darker out here, guys. This isn't good. Uh-oh. Oh, well, let's keep going. Let's see what happens. I mean, I can rebuild everything. I got enough copper to get my stuff back together, but I mean, it would kind of suck losing that. That's, that's a lot of grinding I did. But that's what I don't mind the grinding in this game. Oddly enough, I really, really enjoy it. So this is a game I do see myself playing for a very, very long time uh, because that grind is very manageable. Because uh, I'm a builder, right? If, if I enjoy the grind, I can do the build. It's some games where the grind is just not enjoyable, that I, I can't do that build at all. But yeah, look at that, we are way out in the ocean now. Uh, probably not too far out, but we're, we're out there. Uh, let's hope we don't run into uh, a sea serpent. So I just crossed into uh, Black Forest. So I guess we're not in the sea anymore. It's the same Black Forest up in the corner. Does that mean there's a landmass nearby? Is, is that what's going on? That's weird. Just black forest. <laughs> Maybe it's another sea black forest? Who knows? Oh, I found some land over here, guys. So we uh, cut back into where it's saying ocean again. So I decided, you know what? Uh, we're going to make a turn here and uh, see what's up. And just ahead of us, uh, it looks like we got ourselves uh, some black forest here. So 
Uh, let's do ourselves a favor and uh, try to make landfall. I'm gonna beach it right on its uh, side this time instead of going straight into the land. Um, I honestly, whoa, ho, 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 that's crazy. Um, I honestly think that's uh, the best, best approach here. And we're going into the wind too, so it should slow me down a little bit. Okay, you know what? We're not going to head into land quite yet. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to go for uh, a little bit of a cruise here. Uh, I think along the uh, along the shoreline, just kind of get the shape of this uh, island out, right? I don't, I don't think we're going to run into. Ooh, there's a lot of rocks in here. I need to uh, slow down just a wee bit here. I'm kind of oversteering talking to you guys, but there we go. There we go. Get myself under control. Yeah, I need to go a little further out. This this area is danger. But anyways, as I was saying. Uh, we can go along the shoreline here and just kind of uh, take a look at things and uh, see if there's anything uh, interesting. Maybe mark some stuff, uh, find some, uh, maybe a good place in the meadows uh, that's right beside a uh, black forest uh, to put up a camp on this island. I think that would be a good idea too. Little island camps everywhere that we just uh, slowly improve over time as our resources get better, of course. Ah, there we go. This is a lot more manageable. Oh, look at this. Nice little island. We have a spawner right over there. So that's definitely not a good spot to land. Uh, looks like there's um, a little house over that way. Nothing too crazy yet. Okay, I'm going along here. Still kind of looking to see uh, what's around. And it looks like there might be something interesting over that way, to be honest. I kind of want to set sail out in that direction. It looked like a dead tree. And I don't think I've come across anything that has dead trees. Yeah, look at that right there. Oh, we got to go check this out. Oh, did I find a new biome, guys? Is this maybe, perhaps, the swamp? Oh, that would be really cool. Oops, I got turned around. Let's let's get this fixed up here. Stupid freaking windy storm. <laughs> this is so much fun, though. I love sailing. Okay, uh, let's try to make an approach at this island here and uh, see what it what it tells me. I, I mean, I think we should be close enough. Yeah, that's definitely a swamp, guys. We have not come across one of these yet, but hey, look at this. Yeah, let's get close enough here that I can actually mark it on my map properly. Well, without directly running into it. I, I don't know if we're tough enough for the swamp yet. Um, I really don't. But apparently, uh, you can get cores from here. So, uh, that would be kind of cool to check out. Okay, so it's calling this uh, Black Forest. This doesn't look anything like a Black Forest to me. This looks like a swamp, actually. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to the swamp. Okay, here we go. Let's try to keep a, a straight line along here. But yeah, holy crap, look at that, guys. I found myself a friggin' swamp. That is sick. Alright, it's getting really, really late here. So I think the best option is, is to maybe head back down towards um, my island down here. Now that we marked a swamp, too, that's actually kind of useful. Uh, and see if we can't um, mark the rest of the island here by going around it. Alright, so it's uh, slowly becoming nighttime here, guys. And uh, I tried to go down towards my island, but the wind just is not cooperating in the direction that I, uh, I wanted to go in here. And whoo, these waves are getting big. Hopefully it's not a storm tonight. That would suck. Uh, but it looks like there is an island here directly ahead of us. And uh, I'm assuming that's a separate island. Uh, so we're going to aim for that, and uh, if we can make it to the shore here, I'll uh, set us up a camp. We, will, of course, won't be able to do an exploring. Uh, I think I pretty much just want to uh, sleep my way through the night here. And um, there we go. And uh, and get through to the morning. Ooh, no, look at that. Looks like it actually might start storming. All right, let's get to the... Uh, oh, look at that. Meadows, too. Nice. Okay, we can do this. Okay, here we are. So it's looking like there's a clearing up a little ahead. The uh, night just uh, the night sound just went off, so it's just starting to become nighttime here. Uh, let's get some damn wind in my sails. Oh, this is this is painfully slow trying to go in the opposite direction that the wind is going in. It's good if you're going in the direction that the wind is, but holy crap, this is not good um, at all. So let's go ahead and try, try to beach our uh, craft here uh, somewhere safe. I'm thinking this big opening just straight ahead. Okay, here we go, coming in uh, for a land in here, and 
Did we make it? I think we did. Our ship should be uh, ship shape there. Okay. Uh, hold fast. There we go. We'll just hold on to that for no reason. <laughs> we don't need to do that. Uh, oh, wow. That's actually really hard to get out of. There we go. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, we don't get a storm and our ship floats away on us. So it would suck trying to get back in a raft. Uh, but, hey, if it does... I guess you can really say, uh, lesson learned. So I'm gonna go down some wood here, get everything together, make myself a, a little bit of a camp, and uh, we'll get through the night here. We'll sleep through it. If these stupid boars don't get to me. <laughs> no, look at that, guys. It's day 69. I, uh, I didn't even make it through the night here uh, for sleeping, unfortunately. Oh, look out, there's a boar right there. Stupid boar, good thing. Uh, my axe will easily take care of you. I used to be afraid of you, boar, when I first started playing, but now you are just nothing to me. You are nothing. Look at that, you don't even do any damage. 1.3? What are you going to do to me? All right, we got ourselves a little bit of a basic structure going on here. Now, I don't think I want to claim this bed uh, just yet. Um, I, like this might even be the same island we're actually currently on right now. But look at it, guys. It is crappy out. I can't see. It is raining. So uh, it's kind of a good day to just uh, kind of keep going and uh, improving this place. So I think we definitely need a campfire underneath here because uh, we can't sleep without one anyway. And I do believe if we put it underneath, it uh, it shouldn't go out from the rain or anything either. There we go. And uh, we should be able to sleep on it. Uh, if need be. Now, the best thing to do here is uh, to write, uh, to mark this here. We're going to mark our exact spot and uh, we're going to mark this a camp. There we go. So we have two camps so far. Uh, they're not great little camps, but uh, they'll do us for now. Like I said, I'm a big fan of doing this just because it's uh, great to have this resource um, in case you ever need it. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait out the storm here a little bit and uh, go and do some hunting. Find us uh, some basic food stuff. Well, on my journeys here, it looks like I've uh, found a village just above our camp. I've only managed to find like a handful of mushrooms, uh, some berries, and uh, and what else? But yeah, not uh, not such a good show. Okay, nothing in that house. So you guys always check these houses here. I have so much coin too. I didn't bring my coin with me either. Uh, just finding the trader would actually be uh, kind of handy. Oh, look at this. Our torch is actually almost out, so I'll switch it. We'll definitely leave that feather behind. Uh, I don't need a feather out here where I'm at. Uh, we got a whole ton of meat, like just general meat you get from the, uh, uh, like the red meat, I guess you can call it. There we go. There's some more coins. We got some flint head arrows. Okay, I'll take those. Why not? And uh, is that about it for this place here? I oh, don't. There's one down over here. Oh, and another down over there. That actually looks more like, uh, looks more like a shed down here. Look crap, look how close this was to my place. I didn't even know this was here. In my defense, so it was uh it was pretty dark. Okay, yeah, there's nothing up in here, but that would have made an easy fix up, I think. Uh for for a quick shop or a quick stay. Okay. Well, uh not too much going on, like I said. Oh, here's some necks finally. Holy crap. Uh, I'm gonna go hunting for these little guys because um I, I got hardly any of their meat, so. Oh, and look at that, guys. I wasn't even trying this on purpose. I wasn't paying attention. But where we set up camp is literally right beside uh, the dark forest here. That's actually pretty slick. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to just kind of keep skirting along here. Maybe that's why that valley is there. That looks actually really cool, though. Didn't even know the fur just standing out right in front of me. <laughs> My bad. Oh, you guys want to play? I'll play. You made a mistake good gray dwarf you did too you guys are so easy now it's not not even not even funny i was gonna leave you guys alone i was gonna let you live but you had to push it you know what there's a little uh, looks like there's a little stone 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 structure up here uh we should go check that out i don't think i've ever found a chest in one of these places but uh you never know right yeah it's just all stone up in here uh nothing good for us Oh, and I was just about to light the uh, the fire to cook a few things here, and uh, look at that. The sun came out. Oh, that's pretty damn exciting. Oh, look at that. Now, of course, uh, this is where all the food is. 
literally right in front of us, just like that. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna grab uh, a few bits of wood here, and uh, uh, okay, we, we can't really waste all uh, any of this uh, daylight hours we have. So what we're gonna do then is uh, kind of stick around these shores here. I, I want to drive around the uh, the black forest here because uh, that that's where we're gonna find uh, the trader if we do find it. If we're lucky enough, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Give me your tail, neck. Okay, well, I'm not messing around with uh, the base here at all. So let's go ahead and uh, jump on the rudder here. We still have uh, a little bit of daylight left uh, to go and check this stuff out. Who knows? Maybe the uh, the merchant is right over here too. That would be uh, fairly neat to find out. Okay, I can just open up my sails here. The wind is actually at the back of us, so that is favorable. And uh, we're going to head out here. Okay, there we go. I found a um, a little dungeon here right just off to the side. So I'm going to mark it over here. We're going to go with uh, this. And uh, we're going to type in dungeon. There we go. That's, that's always handy too. That way we can go and uh, find ourselves some more cores. All right, so it's almost nighttime here, and uh, oddly enough, the wind has actually uh, switched directions on us here, uh, which means we can actually make a uh, clear sail back to our camp, and uh, maybe perhaps uh, get ourselves uh, some good old sleep tonight. And here we are, gonna go in for the drift. Oh, I thought I had a perfect drift going on, but you know what? Ooh, it's a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We can always uh, repair that, right, with a hammer. There we go, and it looks like our ship is nice and uh, and beach for now. So it would suck if we woke up and that thing uh, wandered off on us. All right, guys, it's pretty much nighttime. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some sleep here. Holy crap, three days in one episode, pretty much. All right, let's get some sleep. A bed near a, a nearby fire. Yeah, the fire keeps going on and off. It's really weird. Uh, maybe it has something to do with where I, I put it. I, I don't know what's going on with that campfire. Oh, and of course, I wake up, and it's freaking storming out, guys. Not only is it windy and rainy, it is also storming out. So you know what I'm going to do here, guys? I think I'll just kind of wait this out, maybe uh, do some exploring here in the local island. Uh, hopefully that thing does not uh, go away on me here. Um, I kind of get that done. I unfortunately don't have the time to wait out this storm here for some more content to go exploring. So it is what it is. Uh, but I will get some of the grind done here. Look at the exploring we've done, guys. We found another island up this way. I uh, found a freaking swamp up here. Look at that. Oh, see if you actually mouse over it. It says swamp. That's cool. And uh, we found uh, what I think is our neighboring island. Or it could be the same island we're on now. Uh, just a continuation of it, but uh, who knows? This is absolutely uh, big. So I think maybe what I'm going to do then is uh, wander over this way since I don't really have use of my boat and uh, get, a, get a whole bunch of supplies together and see uh, if this is, a, in fact, an island or not. But anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I'm definitely enjoying this game. Hit the like button if you'd like to support the channel, if you'd like to go a little further. Uh, you can always become the member that's right beside the subscribe button. And uh, for a limited amount of time, I am offering a very high tier member subscription. It does include a handwritten note from me and a picture of uh, our best friend, Bob. Anyways, guys, stay classy. I'll see you in the next one. No matter what you people say, I'm going to do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm going to do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's going to roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck.